Here I am this year, at 27, still struggling with depression and anxiety, operating a failing business, in terrible shape, and full of regret. When I look at the goals I've set in the past, I've accomplished almost none of them. What do you do when you failed over and over and over again? When you feel like you've wasted an entire year, once again. When every time you start a new habit, it never lasts more than a few days. When you feel like you're too weak and too undisciplined to make a change. When you feel stuck and stale. Or worse yet, when you've come to the conclusion that it's too late to achieve your dreams. 12 months ago began with hope and excitement. I was going to change, and I made a battle plan to do it. I resolved to finally rid myself of depression and anxiety. I'd take care of my body and treat it the way it deserved. I would pursue my passion for photo and video and make my business a success. And I vowed to finally chase my dream to start a YouTube channel to share my story and to share my passion. And the year started out strong. Welcome. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I was out filming, shooting, and creating on a regular basis. I was slowly getting fitter, and I was completing ridiculous challenges to combat my anxiety. And I was exploring new places, having adventures, and finally getting out of my comfort zone. But slowly, I let the negative voice inside my head take over again. I let the chaos of the year get to me. And I let each mistake and each failure turn into an inner cataclysm, an overwhelming reminder of all the failures of my past. Every failure drove me deeper into despair whether that was having an unproductive day or receiving news that I'd lost a client. Whenever I went a day without filming, missed a deadline for my next video, or scrapped a video midway, I felt as if I'd let myself and others down. I'd put hours or even days into a video, yet it never seemed good enough to share. So I just stopped creating. And eventually, it led me to a familiar place. To a place of stagnation and stuckness. Of feeling like I'm years behind everyone else. Years behind where I should be. Things I would normally enjoy seemed joyless. And soon, the simple task of getting out of bed seemed insurmountable. So how do we escape this cycle? How can we move past all of our failures? As another year of my life ended, I realized something. I realized there are only two options. Option one is to continue down the same path, to continue beating ourselves up for our mistakes, to live in regret, to compare ourselves to others, and to see how we fall short. In essence, this option is to live in misery. And option two? Option two is to not give up. No matter how long you've been stuck, you can decide to change and improve your life. You still have so much potential and so much time. Option two is to accept that it's not too late to become the person you were created to be. But you need to make a choice. Are you willing to pick yourself back up and to fight when you keep on falling? The only thing left is to take action. I challenge you, if you're sick of regret, if you're ready to fight, then do this one thing. Write down and answer these four questions. What five positive things have I achieved in my life? 
What is the goal or dream I wish I had pursued earlier? Why is it important that I pursue this goal or dream now? What one action can I take today to progress this goal or dream? Finally, when this video is over, take that action. Know that I'm taking steps with you. And the next time you fail, remember this. Failure is not a destination. It's only a delay. It's been over seven months since my last video, and this one has taken me a really long time to get out. Uh, I probably had 20 different deadlines, seven or eight scripts, and honestly, I still don't really want to put it out. Uh, I see a lot of imperfections, there's a lot of things I would change, but I think this is an example of when you just need to take action and you just need to do something uh, instead of just being stuck. And I realize I'm not really the best person to go to for advice because I'm still struggling with this, um, but I hope that my own experience can, can help or benefit someone out there. I'm quite nervous to put this video out. Uh, I'm not normally a very vulnerable person, but I think it's important uh, to share what I've been going through and, and I think it's important to share what I'm learning as I go through this. Because I'm, I'm at a stage in my life where I am really now trying to improve. I'm making progress slowly, <laughs> slowly but surely. And if any of that information can benefit you guys, that's, that's all I wanna do. About a month ago, someone wrote this comment and I wanna thank them. I'm not sure who it is, but I wanna thank you uh, because it was very encouraging to me. And it says, if you think it's too late to post now, don't worry about how often you post. Do it if you're having fun doing it. Don't let pressure take over your life. <laughs> and I think that's such an important message uh, for me and also for everyone, um, that it's, it's not too late. If you're still breathing, it's not too late. And there still is time. And so I wanna thank you. And I wanna thank everyone that kept on for some reason commenting and subscribing even though I wasn't posting any content. And I do plan now to become much more active, fingers crossed, and having your support uh, is really awesome. And I'm gonna do my best to share my journey and to share what I learn. And yeah, I'm excited to, to keep going.